What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in beautiful Miami, Florida. I am headed to JDM Powerhouse. If you guys have not heard of them, be sure to check them out. They import cars straight from Japan and I'm actually thinking about adding a car to the channel. So we're gonna head there, talk to them, kind of take a tour of their facility and I want to get more information so I can really decide on what's gonna be next. So let's get going. Here we have the beautiful Raptor. Love this truck, love dailying it. I drive so much guys. It was three hours to get here and I'm pretty much always on the road. So for a daily, I love driving this truck, but I am thinking about something else because eventually I need a better tow rig and I know I'm gonna need a diesel truck, but then I'm like diesel truck, maybe a dually. I don't know if I can drive that every day. <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna come in the future, but for right now, the Raptor's not going anywhere and I'm gonna be making more content with it as well. I'm excited. They told me that they have a surprise for me, so I'm kind of curious to see what that is. I do have Kamali here. She does not like being on camera, but she is behind the camera right now. She's gonna be helping me out today recording and showing you guys the shop. It's my first time here, so we're both gonna be seeing it for the first time. Really excited to see what kind of inventory and stuff that they have currently have. Let's go inside and check it out. Joanne was over there introducing herself. I just had to come over here and show you guys this cute little smart car. Wait for it on TEs. Look at that. So cute. to JDM Powerhouse. As you guys can see, they have some really, really nice cars. We've got some rare Civics here. We've got an Integra Type R. All these are imported from Japan. I want to pass it over. I want you to hear from them and kind of learn about what they do and how they started. I actually met them at Tuner Evo. That's how we even got connected. The Tuner Evo in Miami. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. But uh, that's where we met and now I'm here at their shop. So excited to talk more and see what we could potentially bring to the channel. They were talking about a a skyline and I think that'd be really cool but I feel like that would end up replacing the Evo even though a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for saying that I don't know I mean it would be cool to keep the Evo and have a skyline but guys I don't have enough room in the garage at all right now so next problem I'm gonna have is I'm gonna need more space let's go inside say what's up to the owners introduce you guys and hear more what they have to say all right guys so I'm here with the owner today like I said we mentioned that or we met at Tuner Evolution in Miami and now I'm here. So tell me a little bit about yourself, the business, what you guys do. Absolutely. So my name is Jabel Alouar. I am the owner of JDM Powerhouse. We've been uh, established for about 12 years now, importing cars from Japan, parts. We do performance, uh, performance upgrades as well. And we just got into the uh, giveaway game right now. Okay, so tell me about the process. If I want to import a car from Japan, yeah, how so does that work? We basically have a guy over there in Osaka, Japan, who basically imports the cars for us. We show him what car we want, he goes to the cars, he makes sure that they're mechanically safe, no rust, and he gives us the thumbs up if, if it's worth importing over here or not. Uh, he handles everything over there on that side, comes over here, and we just basically clean up the cars, make sure that the maintenance is all done, and they're good to go. We clean gotcha, up. so how does the paperwork stuff end? You guys take care of that as, as yeah, well? We take care of everything. We getting sure it registered and all that stuff? registered, everything is... 100%. There, there's an, we bring our 25 years, yeah. There's like an entire process to this as well that a lot of people don't know correct, correct. about too. You can't just bring a car from Japan and start driving it. Yeah, I'm sure correct, there's... Correct, yeah. There's a lot of paperwork that needs to get done to get a car to, to be driven here uh, legally. So we take care of all that process and nice. had 12 years in the business. That's cool. So 12 years of importing cars. So I'm, sure, I'm assuming you guys have been to Japan, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. quite a flight. Love it over there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. All right, so what do we have here? This is a GTT, it looks like. Yeah, this is a R34 GTT. This one's here for a ton of performance upgrades. Um, this is not a GTR. Gotcha. So, so I think the GTTs recently became legal, didn't yes, they? Yes, yes. So in order to legally import a car to the States, it has to be 25 years or older. 
from the actual manufacturer date. So it has to go based on month and year. Gotcha. So it'll be, be it'll be a few years before the 34s are pretty the much GTR legal. The GTR next year. Next year. Next year is the GTR. Because it'll be 99, right? Correct. Gotcha. And it's 25 years. So yeah, this is here for a ton of upgrades. Um, That's cool. I'm learning as well, guys. This is all new to me. I don't really know how this stuff works when it comes to like importing cars, but as you just heard, it has to be 25 years before you can bring something from Japan to here. Correct, correct. So, all right, so we got this really nice engine here. What is what is this? So this is an RB26. This is actually going into a G35 back there with a sequential transmission. Nice. This was making, I believe, about 1,500 horsepower. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. This is beautiful. Super nice. Is that a customer's car or is yeah, that gonna this be? this is a customer's car, so. That one's going to the G35 over there. This one's here for a bunch of performance upgrades. Cool, so you guys do import cars. You, you guys can you pretty much work yeah. on them here import as well. Import cars, import parts. We uh, work on cars, mechanic work, basic work, performance work. That's we really cool. We have a welder, we have a tuner, we, have, we do it all here. Nice, that's yeah. good to have too. Right, what about this white one over here? So this RB3 GTR is actually here for a full makeover. Um, this one has an RB28 HKS Stroker kit. We did the Project Mew brakes. We did the wheels. Nice. Look at that exhaust. exhaust. Titanium? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, this one has all the Nismo works on it. Customer wanted kind of a full Nismo build type of thing. I think this would be something I'd, I'd be interested in. You need one. Possibly. You need a GTR. <laughs> well, really? I feel like I'd have to replace the Evo though. I don't know if I could have both. Those are, those are two high maintenance cars. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. The Evo is already a garage queen, so I'm, I'm looking to possibly replace her or i'm not really sure yet but this right here i mean this. nice but i do love the blue this blue is yeah base side blue beautiful my color. favorite yeah so enough gtr talk this is more my field and i do know a little bit about the sirs or as well it's very rare and i believe only in japan you can get an actual sir am i correct right. well in canada you could also get an SIR. oh yes i did but forget not, about those not this model sir what makes this one special actually all three one two and three i didn't even see that one back SIRs. there SIRs. yeah jeez nice yeah, so they all have its little differences. Like this one has the full OEM optional lip kit, super rare. Nice. The sides, the rear, the front lip uh, is optional. This one has a Mugen header on it. Has a couple little goodies on it. Comes with the V16 from the factory. V16, nice. Yeah. This one has, what is that a cage in this one over here that I'm seeing? Yeah, so this one's kind of like a track car. Yeah, this one's actually finished in Granada Black Pearl. So if you see the black has like some gold flakes on it. Oh super, yeah, I can see nice it. From factory. Look at that. That's really this cool. This is also an SAR. So it has the B16, JDM B16. Um, it has a Cusco LSD. It has roll cage. This one's kind of spec more for like the track. That's really neat. Yeah, it has a couple of boltons on it. It's like a time attack kind of car, I guess you right. would call it. Yeah, just to have fun, but track oriented right that's cool and then we have this one here this is an ek4 as well but it has a lot of ek9 goodies so it has a b16b ctr swap it has a ctr cluster it has the red recaros geez those clusters go for a lot just in themselves yeah the red recaros aftermarket radio it has advan rgs the og ones with advan tires on it it has a c west front bumper c west sides and an OEM CTR lip and the wing. Can't forget about the little dice back here too. Yeah. This is a nice touch. Came from Japan. <laughs> so that's cool. Hey, who knows? Probably good luck. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. Well, you guys have a lot of awesome cars here. Really, you, really you. nice to see. Thank you. So we have in front of us an Integra Type R. Yes, this is a 96 DB8 Integra Type R. Super rare, low kilometers. I believe it has 47,000 kilometers, which is like 27,000 miles, give or take. Jeez, what do people yeah. do with these things? Just buy them over there and park them? Yeah. And absolutely. sell it to people like us? <laughs> they store it and they just, Japan takes care of their cars. They're not like people here in America that just trash them. They actually take care of their cars. So this one actually has uh, four lug Volk CE28s. Nice, I like the CE28s. Yeah. Those were the first wheels I put on my S2000, but I didn't get them in bronze. The bronze is really nice. <laughs> Super nice. And then we have a 95, Honda Civic SIR, EG6. 95 Honda Civic SIR, also known as EG6. EG16 as well, has a whole little spoon makeover. So I feel like all the cars over there come B-Series already because- Yeah, most of them. Right? Of them. I mean, I guess if it was a single cam, it wouldn't be a SI. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. 
So it was when we gave it the whole little spoon dog. That's crazy. And these, this paint job is, did you guys have to repaint this no, or? No, no, It came exactly like that from Japan. That's crazy. Like this is, look at that. Blue. Shining. Blue I like it a lot. And these wheels, these are Rega Masters? Yeah. Man, that's nice. Look at that. Recently refinished. Got some nice tires on there too. Yeah. So yeah, this thing is super nice. You guys can see the paint is like mint and he supposedly you said you didn't even repaint the car. This is how they came from Japan. So correct, that's correct. pretty crazy. We actually have a surprise for you. We're actually giving away these cars next and we want you to decide which one uh, we're going to be giving away next. No way. No, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Here. So you are doing a giveaway and you want me to choose whether to do the Integra Type R or the EG6. Correct. Correct. Oh my gosh. You get to decide which one you want for the next giveaway. You guys hear that? <laughs> I really didn't even know what I would choose. Both are like super clean. I mean, that's going to be tough. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. Would you guys like to see the Type R or to see the EG6? I think, um, I think I'm gonna have to sleep on that one because this is, <laughs> this is a tough decision. You think we can pull these cars out to get a better look at them? Uh, I mean, I really want to see this thing in the sun. I mean, it's shining hits. really nice right now so I can imagine what it looks like out there. Let's do it. Let's do it. out of the garage and you can see them here they look absolutely <laughs> incredible i can't believe they're giving me the option to choose for you guys i think a lot of you already know what i'm going to end up choosing but again comment below let's see if you guys know me well enough to see which out of these two i would actually choose for you guys um let's start off over here with the integra this thing is so nice i can't believe like he said they haven't like redone the paint jobs on these these are straight from japan as you guys can see We've got the bronze CE28s. Super clean build. I re didn't really show you guys inside. Let me show y'all. Super nice. It's crazy. Clean interior, as y'all can see. Man. This thing <laughs> looks good. Then over here, we have the beautiful EG6. Love the blue on this, man. Definitely rare. Inside is very, very nice as well. That's pretty cool to see factory seats. So this is actually what he just said was a gatherer's interior. So it's pretty rare interior according to them. Looks really good. Let's see the back here. I still can't believe there's cars this mint in Japan. Yeah. It's insane. That's so cool. So interior is flat. Nice. They have all that space. That's really cool. And then you have this little trunk compartment. You could use it as a cooler. Perfect tailgate car. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's funny. And this whole tray comes out. So if you have ice or whatever, you, you can literally take it out, pop it out, and dump the ice. That's really cool. Yeah. I feel like the American version of these are not. Do they come no, like that? No, no, no right? No. Never seen that before. All right, guys, there you have it. You guys saw JDM Powerhouse and what they do and pretty much the really nice cars that they can bring in. So stay tuned for the next video to find out which car I'm gonna be choosing for you guys. Like I said, I think a lot of you guys know already what I'm gonna choose, but comment below again. Let me know what you think. Let's see how good my subscribers know me. I'm excited, I'm excited for this. It's gonna be really, really cool. And I'll be able to drive the car as well. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. See you guys in the next video.